So for the Fight Club, I think we're now that we have free prizes, I think we're gonna do a free entry to the to the Fight Club. We might have to do like a paid verification. Like you guys might have to pay to verify your um, account, but I, actually we might be able to completely get rid of that because of Twitter. So if you guys don't know what's happening on, on the Twitter, Twitter sphere right now, specifically in regards to nifties, there is a nifties bridge that seems to be coming out. Um, and it looks like the conversation we had yesterday was, was good and talking about nifties and having an open discussion. Because look at that. What's your biggest question on Nifty's? This was posted yesterday. It seems like people are listening and they're going to go ahead and uh, try to have less of a gap between. Uh, they're going to try to have more uh, less of a gap between the community and the people who are on live streams and stuff. And one thing I got tagged in a lot is um, right here. So someone tagged me in this for some reason. I'm like, what's this? Uh, and it says nifty is integrating s connecting wallets to their platform supposedly they have a system to reduce gas fees by like 70% too, which would be amazing so It's going to be interesting. Yeah, add some RNG I don't want to add RNG whatsoever to this because the whole point is by is to add value to, to for people to buy avatars and Incentive to buy avatars if we add RNG. There's no point in buying avatars or selling avatars There's no monetary price difference to that we're trying to get people to actually like add specific price values to certain avatars as opposed to against. If we limit it to whoever has the rarest attribute gets the bonus, that's no longer about the weapon. That's my issue. So if we only give, so if someone walks in with like a, a shotgun, someone walks in with a pistol, and we only give the bonus to the shotgun, that's like an unfair advantage because the guy still has a pistol. Like that's that's my take on it. So based on the reaction we, we have here, it's like significantly, we have mo like almost everyone besides one person wants there to be a competitive advantage based on the weapons. And on Discord, it's like 60, or sorry, it's 70, 30. So I think that that is, um, I think that's important to note. And we're going to go based on whatever, whichever way the community leans us to, because again, we're, we're a community organization. Uh, we might have one where that's going to be, we might have a term where it's just stats alone, but I think overall the fight club should be about fighting and about like what you bring to the table, not in regards to clothing, but in regards to weapons. So that's our plan on that. Um, what weapon is strong in your opinion? Plus some avatars have two so they have a better competitive advantage 100 percent if someone walks in with a shotgun let's, let's so this is how it works let me show you guys how it work okay let me go to paint okay Th i think it's it's, a, it's better to show you guys visually okay um because i i like that way so paint all right so if someone walks in with two swords right if someone walks in with two swords boom a kunai or two kunais right and someone walks in with a shotgun I think that if if swords are worth plus two or plus one each plus one plus one it would get two the reason why is because the sword attribute if we look at the sword attribute inside nifties we go ahead and look at the sword attribute bada bing bada boom it's not rare it's pretty common um, so yeah, katanas, out of the 38,000 minted, the most common attribute would be the katana. Look, katana, katana. So it's the second most rare attribute. Now there's also other katanas in here. So maybe if you have a golden katana, it might be worth like plus two each. You know what I mean? But I think overall it'd be better if you walked in with weapons as opposed to against. There we go. So let's say they're both baseline katanas. Boom. But let's say you have a gold shotgun. I would say that gold shotgun is the most rare. I'll show you guys right here. A gold shotgun is the most rare thing you can get. 16, only 16 here. And 44 here. It's the most rare on both sides. So if you have the most rare weapon, we want you guys to, to be uh, rewarded for that too. Um, is this free? This is paint. This is like JS paint, not app. So yeah, it's free. Um, but so we'll give you guys like plus four, right? But let's say it's just a regular katana, a regular shotgun. If it's a regular shotgun, 
we would use it to we would use the the this would be an automatic program but it would look at the rarity factor of a shotgun a shotgun is let's find out a black shotgun is the first one and it's the most rare on the black series so even if you have a baseline uh shotgun it would still be worth plus two because it is the most rare one of the of the attribute so if it's a black shotgun versus two black um swords the bonus would be given the same even though this one has uh, has another one but let's say let's clear all this up right let's say someone has a sword and a pistol versus a bow staff this would still be worth plus one because let's say it's a base sword still this would probably be worth this would be worth one, one as well because pistols aren't rare and a bow staff let's say it's a gold bow staff right if it's a golden bow staff that's a that's at least plus that's like plus three because anything gold we can look here anything gold oh there's no gold bow staff so let's say it's a, a gold arm pull right there boom it's it's the most common but still rare right so in this fight the bonus or the uh in this fight this one gets plus one more than this one if these are the two most basic weapons so it all it's going to depend on your stats I, it's all going to depend if your stats are going to be um it's going to be based on stats and it's going to be based on your weapons according to everyone's votes it looks like it's pretty one-sided here um it's 83 to 17 percent which is huge one side the phone so what we want to do is that we don't want to just give like we don't want to just give uh combat pwn points the phone would probably probably be something for another stat so let's look at the stats here let's, let's go to nifty's for this random avatar hello random avatar um we would probably give that if it has a phone to like somewhere like uh where is it yeah something like wisdom or maybe intelligence like a plus one bonus there so even though it's not combat related it would give you a bonus to one of these so we want to make it as easy to, un uh, to understand as possible and the other thing you guys need to know about the uh the system the combat system is we are doing a uh a cumulative process so let's say these are the stats right avatar one goes against avatar two right if we have 10 2 14 against a 20 actually yeah, yeah let's just do that a 20 or 2 and a 14 let's say that these are the stats right so this one is a win on this side a tie and a hold on I, I messed this up if it's a win a tie and a I messed it up again holy crap jeez a loss a tie and a win okay I'm not gonna talk I talk too much I swear talk too much guys um so let's say there's a loss a tie and a win for this avatar how this would mean it is a one two one each one has one point and there's one tie so how would we decide who wins this we would decide based on who has the highest overall score so this is 16 that's 26 so the winner would be whoever has the overall strongest avatar 33 35 so the winner would go to avatar number two right so that is how we're that's how we're doing tiebreakers and that's what we're doing the weapons would basically be a boost to certain attributes that are randomly generated and randomly drawn but the overall winner would go to the person if there's a tie it would go to the person with the highest um with the highest combat power based on the 
based on their uh, scores that were selected. So that's the calculator we're working on right now. Do you guys like that? Do you guys like that or do you guys not like that? Weapons. I'm adding notes, by the way. Sorry for being distracted. I'm adding notes right now to the um, for the developers and for us to better serve you guys. So that's the thing. We want you guys to be rewarded for what you have. And we also want there to be reason to buy different, like as much as possible. If we only have... If we only make there be value for avatars with stats, we're going to completely override who has, like, rarity items. So if someone has not great stats, but they have a gold katana, they should be rewarded for that in a certain way. If someone has a bow staff, and right now we're not looking for everyone, everything to be, to be a strength score. So what we might do, and what we're thinking about is, maybe the phone be like a constitution bonus or something. Katana might be combat. Um, and then Silver Staff, let's say this might be Dex, you know? This might be better de dexterity. Maybe. Maybe the, sh the yeah, Gold Staff. So that, look at the stats we're looking at right now. We're looking at the uh, phone. like It's like Constitution, Dex, and then all, all the Sharp Sword things. Are basically going to be a combat bonus to strength specifically um or what we might do we might just have this the swords go to tiebreakers for the overall combat score and not go to any uh, ad category specifically that is we we have things in the air right now but we want a calculator made in the next 11 days that is the plan for uh for us over here on the dev developer side of things so that is that's everything for the matrix underground situation that's happening um, that we're look, we're working with nifties, uh, not super close. Like we're working with them to provide prizes for you guys for the community uh, situations. And before I go to rate avatars and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about the fashion show we're trying to have for you guys. Right. So the last thing I want to talk about is this fashion show that we're planning on having for you guys. The fashion show is exactly what it sounds like. Right. It's going to be. Everyone will be able to submit one avatar, right? Everyone gets to submit their best avatar. By being able to submit your best avatar, you will then, it will be then a, a vote based system. So for 24 hours, we're probably going to accept every single avatar. We're going to boom, 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 boom. So everyone can submit one avatar. Once that avatar is submitted, we will put it on a website. That website will have a votes like vote scoring system. It would be popularity. It will be everyone has to like only, everyone can only read, vote like once a day or something like that. Um, everyone will be able to check there, uh, and it won't be based on the rarity of the actual avatar. It will be based on who wins the most votes. So basically, it's going to be who which avatar looks the coolest to the users. So even though someone with like a bald head might be more rare this trench coat looks cool so this one might win that the the avatar the fashion show we're gonna do a week-long voting system probably and we're to the winner is going to get one of the uh 15 or 25 glitch nfts that nifties has bestowed upon us for those who weren't here at the beginning of the stream the team uh, or specifically jimmy over at nifties the guy that's on the discord head of marketing he is working or he has specifically granted us to use 25 glitch nft avatars for giveaways and i am fan I'm, I'm psyched i'm ecstatic i i'm so happy that he is wanting the brand to be a part of community organizations like this so that is just an amazing thing coming from uh jimmy's and i'm looking forward to seeing where, where all this stuff goes it's not official partnership or anything they're just being nice um, we're no way like like they're not buying us out. I'm not working for them directly. But yeah, so that is that's our goal for the that's our fashion show plan, and that is the Matrix Underground plan. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, if you're watching the video, if you're on the live stream, ch uh, just tell me in the chat, and I will 
talk to you guys in the video later.